we actually believe is definitely a game changer. So this technology was developed by professors at Oxford University. We've been working with them for the last three, four months wise. The technology is based upon a technology called LAMP. So basically it's the isothermal technology, which basically heats up, uh, amplifies any potential virus and allows it to be able to be seen within a very short amount of time. Compared to traditional PCR testing, which actually takes anywhere from you know, minimum four hours or longer, results can be had within 30 minutes once we get the sample into our laboratory or in our point of care setting. So that sounds really good. The time is a lot shorter, but what about the cost? Uh, how, is, how much does this cost, and do you expect this to eventually replace the PCR test? So we always actually believe PCR will always be a gold standard diagnostic test. Uh, but certainly for PCR testing, the challenge is it takes too long uh, to process and it's also very expensive because you need a lot of laboratory equipment. As you can see, the background here is that we actually have a laboratory here in Hong Kong. And then so in terms of the cost aspect with LAMP, we're able to process tests without a laboratory for low throughput settings. If for high throughput settings, such as like an airport setting, we can still operate it with a laboratory. But again, the results are much faster. And so certainly in terms of the cost wise, the reagent or the testing kits that we have from Oxford or OxD uh, will be roughly about you know, 15 to 20 USD. Then you actually add in additional labor, manpower and resources to needed to be operating the tests. Uh, Denny, this is all good news. I mean, faster tests are certainly encouraging, but what about the reliability and accuracy? We were just looking at a graphic there showing the sensitivity rates. How does this compare to the yes. PCR test? Yeah, so right now PCR is always is the gold standard. It's also defined as what we call a nucleic acid test. So from the FDA standards wise, there's only two diagnostic nucleic acid tests which are recognized. One of them is the PCR test and the other is the LAMP test. So in terms of accuracy, it is comparable to PCR standard and also much better than antigen testing. So certainly there's been a lot of talk about antigen testing uh, you know, within the last four to six weeks because it is, again, also a great test for, di for diagnosing individuals with symptoms. The challenge is when you're traveling or population screening, most of these individuals are asymptomatic. So this is where LAMP test is able to identify both symptomatic and asymptomatic individuals, whereas antigen cannot do that. So for airport screening, et cetera wise, it's actually a really great solution uh, because again, it's rapid, accurate, uh, and certainly it can be deployed in a scenario such as we've already deployed in Heathrow uh, starting last week for pre-departure passengers. Uh, and then so individuals can just go to the airport approximately one hour earlier, and they'll be able to get a test, get the results, and then fly off. In Hong Kong International Airport, we actually started our trials two days ago, Wednesday, and we'll be trialing it for a period of two weeks, comparing it to the gold standard of PCR testing. At the same time, here in Hong Kong International, we're also going to be trialing a gargle solution method, mm. which actually makes the sample collection method even easier. Uh, because okay. certainly we want to continue to innovate. Uh, so it's, it's much more than just comparing the sensitivity, but we also want to compare uh, the actual collection method to make it easier for travelers.